So, uh, Opal uh, Dynamic Content from uh, Merkle CRDTs. And uh, it's uh, kind of meant to be uh, more modular and uh, memory efficient um, implementation uh, of OrbitDB. Um, and uh, it's, it's also meant to represent kind of general states for uh, like web app uh, components. Um, it's written in TypeScript and it'll be uh, released uh, in, in, at, in the, at the end of the year. So uh, as a, uh, 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 with working with CRDTs, uh, very kind of closely associated with local first uh, software. And uh, consistency is out the window. So a lot of, uh, pretty much every other, every system has their own kind of source of, source of truth instead of uh, it being based in like a, a, a one, one system somewhere. Uh, um, so there's, a, there's kind of a very interesting uh, ways to build these uh, as opposed to uh, kind of traditional methods. Uh, one of the one of the kind of tricks that you want to do is um, kind of split your your databases up to um, very small uh, uh, portions to uh, to where they're kind of specific to uh, uh, what's going on, so you're not replicating data that you don't really care about. Uh, there are a lot of fundamental uh, there's a few fundamental limits, um, and one of them is uniqueness. So it's very difficult to kind of uh, pick a winner between uh, two different updates uh, uh, when 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 any any update can be merged um, at a later point uh, and it, it it tends to I like to think it they play well with uh, other systems so that you can kind of uh, have a system with uh, consensus like a blockchain and kind of point to um, one of these uh, Merkle uh, or these uh, these uh, CRDT uh, uh, logs. So there are a few downsides. Um, uh, sometimes they're not very intuitive for developers. A lot of times um, people would come into the OrbitDB community chat and kind of ask why um, some of their state's not the, uh, the same as um, their, their peers um, and why the whole, there's uh, like a, this lack of global state, which is uh, sometimes hard to, um, for, for new people to understand. It's also um, not as much tooling yet, um, and in, in JS uh, lib P2P, uh, their the hole punching uh, is not ready, but it, it, uh, it's it's on the roadmap for uh, the first quarter 2023, which is which I'm pretty excited about. Um, and one of the one of the largest downsides is replica availability, and this has to do with um, being able to merge with peers uh, uh, on the network uh, so that you can kind of build on, uh, on new states um, and kind of keep uh, uh, building on other people's updates. And if, if two peers are on the online at the same time, then they can't really do that. So um, uh, there's a, a replicator that I'm building for Opal that will um, push each peer's replica up to uh, like a storage backend, and um, and then update like an IPNS uh, link to the new version of the replica, so that the replicas kind of stay online and they're available, so that you can kind of have this um, edge computed uh, application without um, having any having to need uh, needing to run any like. Uh, uh, machines, specialized machines, um, yourself. I, uh, like a lot of other people, I wanted to, you know, build dApps um, when I got in, into this kind of space, and uh, I don't want to run my own infrastructure, so I'm hoping um, this will help with that. <laughs> Oops. So there's a very simple demo. And uh, it just shows uh, the first peer kind of coming online and making some entries and then pushing them to, uh, to Web3 storage. And, and then uh, another uh, peer coming online and seeing the updated IPNS and pulling the changes. Thank you.